Hi everyone, welcome to Understanding Entrepreneurship. Today I'll be talking about different types of management. Let's get it! Woo! Different types of management, you know? This is very interesting, right? So we're coming from an era where, you know, there was industrial revolution, you know? During the industrial revolution where people were expected to be like robots. What do I mean, right? Some other person who was sitting somewhere came with some theory, you know, the hierarchy of Maslow. What is the hierarchy of Maslow? One, they say that, you know, employees you know, there's uh, before you get to self-actualization, what you really want, the need. You know, you come to work, there must be security. Uh, you know, that's the first uh, human need at workplace. Obvious uh, hunger, and you get to a different level, self-actualization, you know, where you want more out of life, right? And that there must be a structure where human beings must be managed right in your organogram you've got the ceo you've got the product you've got the senior manager senior manager you've got the line manager line manager the foreman right and then obviously in the factory you've got people that are there you know carrying boxes that are managed by the foreman right does that model work in 2019 how many businesses are striving with that model and if they're not making money damn right that doesn't work. That doesn't work, right? Uh, it goes on, you know, to say, you know, there's different types of management. There's democracy management, where you let people be democratic. There's freedom management, where you let people, you know, express their opinion without being governed by the rules, right? And then there's, um, and then there's a communism type of management, where you oppress people. Does that work in 2019? Right. I look at guys like Gary V, you know, my room model, woo, crushing it. Uh, Larry Page, woo, Google, right? Their types of management, I think that resonates with today's edge, not the industrial revolution era. That's gone. What do I mean? You look at Vania Media or uh, Google, how it's, it's managed, you know. Those CEOs, they still take selfies with their employees, you know. There's a human interaction, right? What's the advantage? Human beings, they are not robots where they need to be managed, you know, like robots. You carry that box, you put it out there, you know. When you're done carrying that box, go put it in the car. That's old way of doing, right? And we need to understand that the era that we are in, we did, we're dealing with different... One, there's millennials, there's generational X, there's the 80s people, there's the 70s, you know, there's the 50s, all under mixed bag, right? I would go with a uh, freedom type of management where you know you you don't breathe too much on your stuff neck you know you know what I'm saying you let them express themselves you trust them that's why they are here in the business because you trust them you know they're not robots where they just have to do a and B and then that's it you trust them you right when you do that to buy into the vision of the business I always emphasize with vision of the business because most small businesses they don't have a vision they don't know whether in 2021 they'll be still in business they don't wait they don't know whether in 2030 what will be happening they are not you know they're, they're not leaders they're just followers of translators you know someone sets a trend and you follow because you don't have a vision as a business right so it's very important you know to look at 2019 where we are that you when you're dealing with millennials they are able to work from home on certain occasions, right? They are able to, to say, you know what, instead of me doing this, how about I do it this way? You need to be open-minded. Yo, we need to understand that we are not in the archive days. So different styles of management that I mentioned, like, you know, um, communism type, you know, it doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? We're not dealing with robots, we're dealing with people. And the more rules you have, you need to understand there'll be more sense, right? 
So in closing, it's very important to see the structure of the leadership that's needed within the business because that drives revenue, that drives culture. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment below. Thank you.